Um, so it was at NIPR. I used to go for weekend classes at Maryland to, to take the exam. And somebody I met there, again, a friend, told me about an opening with my first boss ever, Mr. Ken. And she was like, oh, that he, it was an internship role. He was offering 7,500 naira. I was a big girl copper. I earned 25,000 as a copper, minus government allowee. So my dad thought I was, something was fundamentally wrong with me to go all the way down. Like at least the first job you should get to be like maybe 40K or something. Um, for me, I knew I just wanted to learn because I didn't even know what I was going to do in my, my life. Um, so I just told him that, can you be giving me 7.5 every month? in addition to my salary, because transport to and fro the office every month was 10K, and then I needed to feed, so I'm like, 4K, okay. I'll be fine. Um, so I, I got the job, I went for the interview, it was like, it's been my hardest interview ever, because he interviewed me with his wife, they kept asking me like a zillion questions. I'd never done an interview before, and all that. My interview to work in broadcasting was to do a recording. So it wasn't like, tell me about yourself, What's your five-year plan? What's five-year plan? Like, I don't even know my now plan. They asked me for a five-year plan. Um, but I got in, and in three months, I think, no, like four months, I was confirmed, and I was offered full-time. I think they now made it 20-something K. Um, but because I applied myself, I became project lead with my 20-something K. Um, and then I just kept looking for opportunities. I applied for the next role. Um, <coughs> my broadcasting experience helped me. They wanted somebody who understood media. I got in, so I moved from Yaba to Ikoi. They added 25K, so it was 50K. Um, so I just kept moving. Then the next one was in Lekki. So I kept going further from home. <laughs> and the Lekki role, I applied as a graduate trainee. Um, so when I went for the interview, well, there was like a hundred of us. I went for the interview. It was a PR consulting firm. And chairman said that you're too qualified to be the graduate in yeah yeah okay over qualified um so we won't be taking you i felt crushed um so i went back but apparently the hr kept my cv so another four months time a role opened as a senior executive and she called me i went for the interview on a saturday i got the job and it was 100k and it just kept going it just kept going all the way. I was a senior executive there, and then from there I moved to brand manager, I moved to senior brand manager, I moved to account director. Like I, I kept moving all the way. So by the time I le um, I stopped working, I was category marketing manager at GSK.